Hey guys, it's Misty with Pink Variations. Welcome back to my channel. And today I am going to be doing a type of a bloom, but where I just lay it all out in line and then blow dry it out. So my colors are mixed with exactly the same way as the bloom re recipe. So I have three parts untinted house paint to one part polycrylic or gloss varnish. Um, and then I have my cell activator, which is Australian Flood Floetrol, three to one, three parts Floetrol, one part paint, which is the Amsterdam Titanium White or the Amsterdam Oxide Black. And I also, <clears throat> um, and then my pillow is Glidden Essentials uh, Satin. So those are my colors and I'm just laying down. I laid down gold. Now I got Van Dyke Brown. So mind you, it's the exact same as the bloom re recipe. I'm just laying it out in flat lines and then I'm going to blow dry it out in the, from the center. I'll show you when we get to that part. And that is Ox, um, Dioxazine Purple by Golden. And um, don't forget, if you guys have any questions or need any help with anything, please feel free to leave me um, leave a message in my comments below. And I'm more than happy to help you. All the information about my video is below also with my recipe. So don't forget to check that out. Also, my shop is um, linked below. And my Facebook. Go, go follow my Facebook if you want. Um, that color is, I believe it's a primary elements color. It's a really pretty color. I can't remember the name of it, but love the color. And this one is a Josonian color, I believe. I can't remember the name of it. Um... Nope, that one's actually an Amsterdam purple. I think it's purple red. So now here I'm going to use the blow dryer to blow it out and what I want to do is get that cell activator to blow out really well and blend so that it gives me good cells and then I'm going to tilt it.
So now I'm just tipping off as much paint as I can because I have a lot of paint on this canvas. So I'm just tilting slowly and carefully so I don't lose my cells and my lacing. And um, this is the first time I've done this technique. Um, I seen Erica Hughes do it. So that's where I wanted to give it a try. She uses a different, she uses different ingredients, um, but I wanted to try it. So this is how mine's turned out. Uh, you should go check out Eric Hughes. She's amazing at everything. So just make sure you get all your sides and everything covered real well. And make sure you get enough paint off of there, because if you're tilting and you're still seeing it moving pretty good, the flow, you have way too much paint on there. So you want to get more off until you can't see it running like that. That's a big sign that you have too much paint on there and it will crack. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching and joining me today. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you liked it. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And um, also stay tuned in this same video for my helpful tips that I give after every video. Um, I will be doing that. But first, let's do a close-up so we can see the final, the finished product. Get you down and see this puppy. <laughs> and excuse my light glare. I need to look into getting some better lighting. Look at those the lacing and the cells. I think it turned out pretty pretty good. I love how the contrast is and the just everything about it. It's pretty cool for different type of technique but and also if you want my 
recipe and information it's below and I will see you in just a minute okay guys I told you I was going to give you one of my hacks or ideas something that helps me out is this dirty silicone wrap oh I'm just kidding <laughs> um, I'm sh showing you how okay so this is a cake spinner got it off Amazon as you can see it's full of paint <laughs> so what I do is I put these round microwavable silicone mats on top of my spinner so as you can see I'm peeling it off so now there's my spinner of course there's going to be some on the sides but I put clean um I put clean wrap over my stuff that I don't want to ruin now I got this silicone mat so now what I'm going to do to clean it is I'm just going to peel off all the paint. It is like the easiest and it's a great way to make skin if you want. You can totally just pour paint right on it. <laughs> you can torch it on here and everything. But it literally just comes right off. The middle is a little different because it's doesn't have a lot of paint on it, but definitely the outsides do. So look at this. Is that not crazy? A big old skin. So now, with a little bit more work, just peeling stuff up. Um, then you have a brand new clean mat. Helps when I don't have gloves on. <laughs> But you literally just peel it all off and it's all ready to be used again. But since I'm going to be using it again in a minute, I'm not going to worry about that part. But now I got a fresh clean net and I can flip it over too. So that is my other hack that works for me. So there you got it. And let me know if there's any questions or anything you guys want to see or want to know how I do. And I would be happy to share it with you. Okay, I will leave the link to this below in the in my description. They're on Amazon. Okay, thanks guys. Have a great day.